everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Uh, today we're going to be on page 269, so if you're not on this page yet, pause the video, get to that page, then press play. Do not keep going unless this page is open. Okay? Serious. But if you're on this page, let's continue. So, today we're going over Lesson 6-5, where we are going to take everything that we've been learning about, and we're going to be just piling all together, and then maybe even trying to solve some weird story problems with that data that we have. Remember, data is just another fancy word for information. That's it. Information and the numbers. So, you can see, guys, that before I even started this video, I copied this entire ch tally chart. All these tally marks, I copied them over to the blank one over here. So before we get started, make sure you do that too. And there is a reason for this. So trust me, I'm not making you guys do extra work for nothing. Make sure that you copy over the tally chart. All right. So if you're not done that, pause the video just like always, and then hit play when you're done. All right, so let's go over what we have so far. Uh, so, so far, we have a tally chart that has three votes for octopus, seven for whales, and two for sharks. Right now, we know that whales has the most votes, so we can call this one the favorite. All right, so whales is the favorite in this classroom of votes. So now that we kind of looked at our data a little bit, let's go ahead and read the story problem. It says, Kelly asks 12 students if they like octopuses, whales, or sharks the best. The tally chart shows their responses. How many students would need to change their vote from whales to sharks to make sharks the favorite? So, we are going to be taking away one tally mark at a time to switch over to sharks to see how many it's going to take to make sharks the new favorite, which means it has to have the most votes. So, for this, make sure you have an eraser and either a colored pencil or a crayon. And here's why. Every time we switch a vote over from whales to sharks, we're going to draw the new votes with the, that crayon or colored pencil that you have. All right. So let's do this one at a time. So we're going to take one away from whales. And I have to give it to the sharks because that's what, our, what they're asking. How many do we have to take away and give over here until Sharks is, has the most votes? So I take my different color and I draw that tally mark over here. All right, but it's still not the favorite. So I got to take away another vote from whales and give it to the Sharks. But is Sharks the favorite yet? It's not. It has four votes. Whales has five. And then octopus still has three. So right now, whale still has the most amount of votes. It's still the favorite. So we're not done yet. Uh, so now here's the tricky part. Get that eraser. And be very careful with this one. And you're going to want to take out this cross. That uh, tally mark that crosses through. Do it as carefully as you can. If you have gaps like I do here, just take your pencil and fill them back in. Okay. Now remember, every time we take away tally mark, we always work backwards. We take the last one away and work towards that first one. That's why we're doing it in this order. So now that I took away that another vote from whales, I can give it back to sharks. Right? And remember, I'm going to put a fifth one, so it has to go across. So now, and since we used a different color to give the sharks their new votes... It makes it super easy for us to figure out how many votes we had to switch. So how many red tally marks do I have? Or you can also count the crayon tally marks that you drew yourself. Well, I have one, two, three. I had to switch three votes over to make sure sharks had more than whales. So we can now say that on, uh, on this chart, sharks is the new favorite. Okay, and that was three votes. So now let's go to the next page, and we're going to keep doing 
some uh, goofy story problems just like this, all right? Let's go to page 270. All right, here's page 270. Now we're going to be doing something similar, and I know they kind of did it for you, but we need to walk through this to make sure you know what to do if you run into a problem like this again. Now, they already have a tally chart already done where this side originally had seven tally marks, and this one had eight. And what they're saying here is if we had three more students take the survey, and now football and baseball have the same number of votes, which means that they have a, a tie, right? How many votes does each have? Well, we know that we have to add three, right? So up here, I'm going to draw three tally marks so I can keep track of them. Okay, one, two, three. Every time I use one, I'll cross it out. And let me get rid of these numbers right here just so they don't confuse us. All right, now what we'll do is we'll start with the smallest side. I'll take a tally mark away here, cross it out, and I'll add it over here. But I still have two more to go. So now I'll switch to over to your side and add one more because right now we have eight and eight. But we still got to divvy up two more tallies. So I'll put one over here and I'll cross out that second one I used. Now we know we're not done because since I drew the tally marks I have to use, I was able to keep track and I know that there is one left. But which side do we go on? Well, if we look now, this side now has five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the baseball side says, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight. It only has eight. So if we have 8 over here and 9 over here, where's this last tally mark going to go? Because we have to make sure we have the same number on both sides. Well, it's got to go with the smaller number, right? With the 8. So I'll draw here and cross it out up top. Now, I have 9 for baseball and 9 for football. And that answers the question, how many votes does each have now? Well, I'll write down here, they both have oh, nine. They both have nine. And that's it. Now, just make sure that if, they, if you ever come across something else that has you add tally marks or picture graphs, uh, your picture to a picture graph, I would suggest uh, making a little diagram up top like it. So if they tell you add five tally marks, draw five up top and then cross them out as you go through them. Same thing with a picture graph. If they say five more friends add, uh, voted for, I don't know, soccer, right? You could just draw some circles up top to help you keep track of what you're adding. All right. That, hopefully that makes sense. I'm just trying to help you guys keep track of the changes because that can really be confusing sometimes and I've seen it uh, you know really I see a lot of kids just get really confused by it and I just want to make sure it doesn't happen with you guys alright so now let's go to our next page 271 and let's do another couple practice problems alright here's page 271 now they threw a little bit of a curveball here curveball here at us with this problem um, so I'm not going to fully have you guys try anything on your own for this first part because there are quite a few steps we'd have to take. And don't worry, we'll go through it one step at a time. So it says down here, for this graph with the milk, water, and juice, that Lindsay asks 18. Circle that number 18. 18 students if they like milk, water, or juice with lunch. Now, what is our total number of votes that will be for this chart? It's going to be that number 18. So, after we're done everything, there should be a total of 18 tally marks for this chart. I just really want to stress that, okay? That's why they're telling us this. There should be a total number of 18. Let's see. Seven students like milk. So right here we have seven. 
three students like water, and it says the rest of the students like juice, but they didn't tell us how many. So there's two ways we can solve this. I know, it sounds crazy, but there I swear there's two ways. The first way you might like more, where we would count on all the way up to 18. Does that sound good? Sound, you know, easy enough? Well, in order to count on all the way to 18, we need to know how many tally marks we have down here. Now, we can either just count the tally marks or add 7 plus 3. So if you add 7 plus 3, we should have 10. Or you can just add the tally marks or count them all. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We still have 10. And all we're going to do is count on until we reach 18, because that's our big total. So stop. we have 10 here. After 10, we have 11, right? 12. Now that I got you guys started, I want you to finish the rest of the juice tally marks on your own. And make sure that you're careful with how to make a 5 when you get to it. So go ahead and give it a try with finishing this tally chart. Remember, you're just counting from 10 to 18. Once you reach 18, you got to stop with the tally marks. And then we'll check how many you made in just a minute. Alright, if you're still working on it, pause the video and take your time. But if you're done, let's see how many you made. Make sure that uh, you're making them the correct way and they have the correct number. Alright, so I stopped at 12. Then we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I've reached 18, I stop, and I just count what I drew. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I have eight votes for juice, which means we can answer a whole bunch of questions now that they have set up for us with numbers two and three. Uh, four, I'll have you guys try on your own. That's going to be a little tricky, though. And five, there's, uh, yeah, oh, you guys can totally do five on your own. No, yeah, no doubt about that. All right, but I will read each one to you. And I do, want, I do want you guys to try number 2, 3, 4, and 5 on your own. Now, if you're in my classroom and if you're super confused by any of these, just let me know. I'll try to make some time to come help you. If you're not in my classroom, make sure you let your teacher know if you're confused by any of these. Because I know they didn't give us a ton of practice problems, and that really bums me out. But I feel like you guys are kind of just catching on pretty quick. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So after I read each question, just pause the video and take your time with it, all right? So number two says, how many students like juice? Complete Lindsay's tally chart, which we just did together. So you guys should be able to answer that, no problem. Number three, what is the favorite drink? Remember, when we see this word favorite, all it means, I'm going to put equals most. So don't let that word favorite confuse you. They're just saying, you know, uh, favorite just means most. That's it. So which drink on this chart is the favorite? Number four, the next day, Lindsay asks the same question. Three students change their responses from juice to water. What is the favorite drink now? And we already talked about how to switch up tally marks, okay? Um, do the best you can. If you need to redraw a little tally chart on a different piece of paper, that's fine. Not a big deal. That way you can erase and redraw them. And let's see. And number five. Lizzie records her new survey. The new survey. So not this one up here. They're saying after the students change their votes. Remember, three students. Change their votes from juice to water. All right. Um, it says uh, after her new survey results in the picture graph below. So draw how many votes for juice there should be. Everything else is already done for you, but they need to see the juice. 
So hopefully this helps and you guys are just catching on. If you're confused by a couple things, please let me know or let your teacher know. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a great day.